The summer sun shone down on Miami Beach, contrasting sharply with Travis Kelce and Taylor Swift's cold quiet. They sat on a private balcony, the smooth lap of ocean waves serving as a background hum to the growing storm between them. Travis, a man known for his booming laughter and charming enthusiasm, ran a hand through his buzzed hair, his smile strained. Taylor, we gotta talk. Taylor, her distinctive red lips squeezed into a tiny line, tilted her head, a query glittering in her blue gaze. They'd been the golden couple, their whirlwind romance featured in every newspaper. However, the glitter has recently faded to reveal a cold, hard reality. This charade, Travis said, his voice strained, it isn't sustainable. We created this image this Travis and Taylor happily ever after story but it is a lie. Taylor's neatly manicured palm gripped the armrest. What do you mean? We barely spend time together. Travis replied, his voice rising. You're on tour, and I'm in training. We converse in between sound checks and practice drills. Is that a relationship? Taylor sighed, letting a strand of hair from her braid. We can make this work. We love each other. Do we? Travis responded his words filled with hatred that astonished even him. Do we adore the concept of each other? The media darling quarterback and an award-winning singer? Isn't it the perfect story? Taylor's face showed a spark of pain. She uncorked a bottle of champagne, the sound cutting through the strained mood. We can try, she said, pouring two flutes. Travis peered at the golden liquid, the bubbles serving as a taunting reminder of his own emptiness. There is no trying in love, Taylor. It either is or is not. He drank his champagne in one swallow, the harsh truth leaving a metallic taste on his tongue. Maybe, maybe we were a beautiful mistake. Taylor's eyes welled up with tears, but she kept her chin up. Maybe you're right. Travis rose as the sun fell below the horizon, sending long shadows across the balcony. His heart was heavy. With a final look at Taylor and a silent apology in the air, he turned and walked away leaving only the clinking of ice cubes in their empty champagne flutes to reflect the hollowness of their love tale. The off-season sun blazed down on Miami, providing a dramatic contrast to the chill that had settled into Travis Kelce's heart. He sat across from his publicist, Kayla, at a fashionable outdoor bar, the city's lively vitality, unable to penetrate the shroud of his misery. All right, Travis, Kayla began, her tone a studied blend of sympathy and firmness. We need to address the elephant in the room. Travis scoffed, the clink of his ice cubes reflecting the hollowness within him. Allow them. They'll be rewriting them like crazy once this story goes public. Kayla's neatly groomed brows shot up. What story? Travis took a long drink from his beer, the bitterness reflecting the reality he was about to reveal. There is no engagement, Kayla. Never was. The sentence lingered thick in the air, as if the Miami sky had chosen to pause its breath. Kayla blinked, processing. But the matching rings, the cryptic social media posts Travis let out a dry laugh. Cryptic, honey, I was sending SOS signals into the void. What about the rings? A pop-up shop for Valentine's Day sold matching costume jewelry. Kayla's nicely coiffed bob appeared to wilt. But Travis, why? I mean, Given Taylor's propensity for writing about her romances, that's exactly it. Travis smashed his fist onto the table, scaring a flock of nearby birds. Our entire act was a marketing ploy created by her staff. Content for her future album and amuse for the season for me. Kayla's expression was one of disappointment. I, I had no idea. Travis fell back into his chair, despondent. Neither had I. At first, it seemed flattering. Hanging around with a pop star. The cameras, the full deal. But then, naively, I began to believe it was true. He took another drink of his beer, the Miami heat, doing little to alleviate the rising pain in his chest. I guess I deserve it for falling for something so obviously fake. Kayla leaned across the table to place a soothing hand on his arm. No, Travis, you deserve better. You deserve someone who views you for who you are not as a trophy for their image. Travis gazed at Kayla, a glimmer of hope appearing in his eyes. Maybe her words were true. Perhaps, amidst the Miami heat and the ashes of a false relationship, something genuine can yet emerge. The offices and sun blazed down on Miami, providing a dramatic contrast to the chill that had settled into Travis. All right, Travis, Kayla began, her perfectly manicured nails tapping a press release against the table. We're getting a lot of questions after your cryptic social media post. Forever starts now with a photo of you and Taylor. Engagement announcement, correct? Travis scoffed, the clink of his ice cubes reflecting the hollowness in his chest. Engagement? 
Kayla, that was damage control. Kayla's finely arched eyebrows rose. Damage control? From what? Travis sighed and ran a hand over his hair. From the truth, Taylor views forever differently than I do. The news of their romance had caused a media frenzy. Travis, the gregarious tight end, and Taylor, the enigmatic pop singer, appeared to be a perfect fit for headlines. But reality, as always, was more messier. We haven't even lived together, Travis added, hatred in his voice. She's constantly on tour, whereas I'm in season for half of the year. It's like an endless game of phone tag. Kayla pursed her lips, but the public adores them. Traveler dot it's a gold mine for your brands. Travis threw his fist into the table. Brands? Kayla, this is not a marketing campaign. This is my life. I want someone to high-five after a touchdown and talk about corny rom-coms with on Sunday night. Taylor he trailed off, his voice full with sorrow. Taylor lives in a stadium of her own making, and I'm not sure there's even a guest pass for me anymore. Kayla looked at him steadily. So, what should we do? Tell the truth? Travis smiled wryly. What is the truth? In this industry, they would break us apart. But perhaps that's what we need. He took up his phone, a fierce glare in his eyes. Let's rework the story, Kayla. Let us tell them about eternity on my terms. As Travis compassed his message, the sun in Miami fell lower, leaving deep shadows. It was not an announcement, rather, it was a goodbye. A goodbye to the facade, a goodbye to a future that wasn't his. And as he hit send, a strange sense of peace settled over him. Maybe, just maybe, the truth would finally set him free. The offices and sun beat down on Miami Beach, a stark contrast to the icy silence between Travis Kels and Taylor Swift. They sat on a secluded portion of the beach, the rhythmic whoosh of the waves, the only soundtrack to their tense conversation. Taylor, Travis began, his voice rough, we gotta talk. Taylor fiddled with a seashell, its smooth surface a poor reflection of the turmoil within her. About what? She mumbled, already dreading the answer. Travis sighed, the sound heavy in the salty air. This charade. Us. It's not working, is it? Taylor's heart clenched. The media frenzy, the photoshopped endorsements, it had all felt fake, a performance for the cameras. But she'd clung to the hope that maybe, just maybe, there was a spark between them a flicker that could be nurtured into a real flame. Travis, she said, her voice barely a whisper, there was something there, at first. A humorless snort escaped Travis's lips. Because the cameras loved it? Because it boosted your brand and my endorsements? The truth, sharp and acidic, stung Taylor's eyes. Travis was right. Their relationship had been a carefully crafted image, a product launch more than a love story. I don't know what I expected, Taylor admitted tears welling up. Maybe she faltered, unable to voice the naive hope that had bloomed in her chest. Maybe we could fake it till we made it. Travis finished her sentence, his voice laced with bitterness. Except we never made it, did we? Tears spilled down Taylor's cheeks, tracing salty paths on her sun-kissed skin. She wasn't sure if she was crying for the shattered illusion of their relationship, or the dawning realization that true love, perhaps, wasn't meant for her. Travis stood up, his silhouette stark against the setting sun. This is over Taylor. Let's get one last thing straight. There never was us. With that, he turned and walked away, leaving Taylor alone on the beach, the sound of the waves mocking the emptiness that echoed within her. The sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows, a fitting end to a love story that never...